I'm in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Spent the day with a really cool ministry called Divorce Care, which is the number one um, kind of a recovery or you know a, a resource uh, to help you through the challenging times of divorce. And for me, you know, knowing that that was here and these guys have been doing what they've been doing for 25 years, um, it would have been great for my mom when she went through that with my sisters and how that might have been a great a gift for us as a family. But it's been a real honor to be able to help um, consider how we might be able to re-engineer it a little bit and help with what is the next gen of divorce care, producing it in some kind of a, some of our more unique and creative kind of formats. Steve Grisham, the president, him and his wife started it out of their own brokenness and their journey, you know, 20 some years ago and now 25,000 churches have gone through divorce care so but we talked about maybe doing a line extension on it we do you know two or three four follow-ups to help a family and the, and the parents who have gone through this um, as well as the possibility of doing kind of a singles curriculum that would really be fun just to kind of enhance life you know uh, you know enhancement for those that are single trying to take the next step in their journey and experience through the joys and upside up you know and sideways sometimes life as a single person in the church um, as a Christian um, but we also talked about the possibility of doing a major campaign that they could do um, for an offer to all churches across the country and so it's just sacred being with them a ministry it's got such legacy and such history and an honor uh, we, we kind of messing around a whole bunch of different categories with them but I just got off the phone with one of the fastest growing churches in the country. His name is John McKenzie um, at Hope uh, in a, a Church in uh, Frisco, Texas, uh, where I'd gone out and he's got a, you know, three, four campuses, just a great guy. And we're gonna be producing hopefully a series of curriculum with them that we'll introduce to their church. And then now what we're doing is make that available to other churches. So can, uh, our new publishing model is really exciting. It's kind of um, rolling out these days. And so tomorrow I'm gonna to be at Jeff Bogue's church, at Grace Church in Akron, Ohio. That's where I'm taking off to um, tonight. And we'll be with them and helping um, look at the possibility of taking two books that he has written and make a curriculum against it and a churchwide campaign for them and then for other churches. Because now we're making whatever we do available to other churches. The other uh, thing that we'll be doing the next day is gonna to go to Cincinnati to meet at Brian Tomes Church with his team. and and um, which is the fastest church in the country, which is some fascinating things he's doing. And he is, um, he's not teaching live on Sunday morning. It's all video stream to all of his campuses. And uh, just 7,000 people, they were telling me, that are watching online now live. And uh, even though they, he won't be teaching live at the main campus, uh, he's gonna be doing other things. So the decision he recently made, just to see what's going on in church, just the creativity and, um, the evolution of things is I'm glad we're in kind of media and helping churches kind of take the next step in both media and technology. So anyway, been a long day um, with those guys, but a very fulfilling day to think of the kind of kingdom and, you know, ministry impact is going to be a blast as time goes. So thought I'd give a little update of uh, where we are. So Akron and then to Cincinnati, then back home Sunday night. Until then, blessings, Brett.